Hi, I'm Joel Taylor, and you're watching The Red Booth Show. Hi, welcome to The Red Booth Show. I'm your host, Kimberly Q. On tonight's episode, I have Joel Taylor. He's a musician from Australia that has been in Los Angeles making a big splash in the music scene. And he has a new music video, and he's also going to play for us live. So come and join us. So hello, Joel. Hey. Thanks for coming on the show. Cool. Thanks for having me. Definitely. This is actually really cool because you are from Australia. I am. Which um, my my mom's Australian and we lived in Australia when I was a kid. So I actually oh. came here with an Australian accent. Oh, wow. So I love seeing other Australians here. From, did you say Perth? Is yes. that where you're from, Perth? Cool. Yes. Okay, awesome. Yeah. I've never been to Perth. But which, which area are you from? Sydney. Yeah, from Sydney. Sydney. Definitely very far from Sydney. <laughs> Seven hour flight. <laughs> That's no joke. Yeah. <laughs> so this is really exciting because you're actually, you know, coming out with a new music video in Australia. Yep. And it's going to be also coming here to the U.S. as well, but that's... You're, you're pretty well known, I think, over there and getting more and more um, notoriety. Yeah, I mean, I'm, uh, I'm definitely working on it. You know, it's my, it's my, home, my hometown, yeah. Sydney. And, uh, you know, I moved here to L.A. the week I finished high school. I moved straight here. Wow. And, but my whole family's still in Australia and kind of everyone's in music. My mom's a piano player. My grandfather's a piano player. So I've always tried to, like, at least get home, play some shows and, you know, get out and do that thing. That's cool. I was actually going to ask you about that because, you know, how you got into music, obviously, is probably because you had musical parents. Then. Yeah. And yeah. so when did you start playing and what was your first instrument? Uh, my first instrument was piano. Uh, yeah, my mom was a piano player mm -hmm. and her dad was a piano player and he played for the Everly Brothers and Roy Orbison and the Beach Boys and no all way. sorts of people. Yeah. That's amazing. So, and uh, yeah, they had their like rock and roll band in the 50s and 60s that was like a really big like rockabilly band in Australia and they had lots of number one hits and they were like the original rock and rollers in Australia. What yeah. was the name of the band? Called Cold Joy and the Joy Boys. <laughs> Hey, check hey, that out. Yeah. Cold Joy and the Joy Boys. Yeah, so it, kind awesome. of, it was kind of always uh, always around. And my dad was a jazz singer. And wow. so, you know, I kind of had no choice. <laughs> that's, that's cool, though, yeah. because I think it probably makes it even easier for you to, like, express yourself musically when you have parents that are encouraging that. Definitely, yeah. I, I, didn't, I was very lucky to not have, like, a, you know, like, get a real job, uh, like, thing, you know. I mean... Yeah. Sometimes I think I sh should. No. <laughs> no. But uh, yeah, no, I always had really supportive parents, definitely with music and everything. So, and they were behind me moving here, you know, when I, I came here straight away after high school and wow. they were all about it. So, was that a big um, change for you to be in LA compared to Sydney? Yeah. It, you know, some of it's, you know, there's sunshine, there's beaches. Right. It's, it, the lifestyle is, is great, just like Australia. Yeah. Um, but, you know, I couldn't find where the city was. That used to confuse me because there's kind of no downtown anywhere. It's just all over the place. And um, it's sunny all the time, which is amazing. But I got used to, like, thunderstorms and summer and all, the, you know, just weather, different weather. And we didn't really have that when I moved here, and that used to freak me out. But, <laughs> but now I love it. I mean, it's, it's my home now, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, anyways. Well, yeah, it's pretty funny. The weather here is you just get a certain, like, 10 degree difference, I think, something like that. Yeah, it's it kind of. Saturated. It's just sunny and sunny <laughs> or sunny and really hot. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, I'm glad that you're here in L.A. because we get to hear your music. And yeah. um, you've been playing around venues here. Mm -hmm. And you have actually a new music video that's coming out. Yep. Um, which we're going to be playing on the show, which I'm very, very excited about. Um, and I thought it would be cool to mention the fact that one of your music videos that has already come out was directed by Courtney Cox, too. Yeah, yeah that, was, that was cool. <laughs> that was fun. Yeah, that's amazing. What's the name of that one? It was uh, Give Myself Away. It was the, my last single. It came out a couple months ago. Yeah, and she directed the video, and it was super fun. I mean, she's, so, she's a great director. She's just an awesome, kind of fun person, and she's super talented, and... Yeah. She what, seems amazing. Yeah, she's I mean, the fact great. that she was like, I'm going to go make a music video now, like, that's totally it, different yeah, for what she's oh, yeah, usually doing. Totally. And, you know, she loves music. Actually, she plays piano. Oh, I just, cool. I just bizarrely, in a crazy LA way, became friends with her. And uh, she loves music, and she kind of always 
liked my music and it was just one of those things. That's she awesome. She was like, can I do your music video? And I was like, yes. <laughs> Let me think about that. You're like, yeah. no, um, you know what? leave yeah. me alone. Yeah, just yeah, kidding. Yeah. <laughs> no, so that, yeah, it that's, worked out. That's Probably. awesome. <laughs> This song that you have coming out now with the new music video is actually a little bit more serious than this, <laughs> the one that you just recently put out, which is more, you know, upbeat and Definitely. everything. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, it's a song that, it's really kind of a personal story. It's, you know, my personal story. When I moved to America when I was 18 and just finished school, and I was kind of having to... You know, it was really kind of an escape, honestly, to be honest. It was like, uh, you know, I just grew up in a bit of a crazy household with a lot of, uh, you know, alcohol, just, you know, stuff like that, just drama, family drama things. Right. And, you know, I couldn't, I couldn't really wait to pursue my music and, like, just get out and kind of start things again. And that's what this song is about, is about, you know, moving here and kind of wiping the slate clean in a way. So that's what the video is about. So it's not the lightest video, <laughs> wow. but it came out great. I mean, I, I, I love it. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's amazing that you decided to write a song about that. And yeah, it, was, it came in like 10 minutes. It was one of those ones, the middle of the night, kind of got, it's a bit of a gospel hymn, sort of like a stomp and clap thing. Yeah. And I think it was like three in the morning and I was playing organ at home and I just had this song come to me and I, I wrote it in no time. I love it. Yeah. That's so One of those cool. good moments that we all like wish for. <laughs> a, lot of a lot of times we hear that about great songs, you yeah. know, they're just like, poof, they magically are just appear and totally. you, you just get them written in a short time, you know? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think something is to be said about kind of following the inspiration when it's there. That's a hard thing to not just like, oh, I'll finish it later. I kind of, you just like go with the flow and yeah, but I, I'm really happy with it. Fantastic. Well, okay, we have to take a quick break, cool. but we'll be right back with musician Joel Taylor. And welcome back to the Red Booth Show. I'm here with musician Joel Taylor. How's it going, Joel? It's going great. Thank good, you. good. And thanks for bringing your guitar, by the way. Yeah, nice little prop. I, I will play it there. He actually does uh, know how to play the guitar. I, yep. Yeah. <laughs> it's not just an accessory. Yeah, no. You know, I like, just bring it everywhere I go yeah. just to like show off a little bit. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know how to. How to play. Yeah, you said it was like a 70s guitar? Yeah, it's from 1974. Nice. It's been, it's been all over the place, this thing. That's cool. Yeah. Well, I do didn't you play have it, it in since the... 1974. No, no, <laughs> I know. It's, it's new to you. It's new to me, yeah. Do you play this guitar in your music video? Um, do I? No, I don't actually. Mm. No. So you mostly singing. you mostly have characters in the music video, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, you have it's there's a little boy and then there's a, a couple. Mm -hmm. um, where did you create this music video? Yeah, we did it. Uh, we filmed it in Joshua Tree. Oh, cool. In a, in a day, and it was cool. Since wow. I got up at four in the morning. I mean, all the colors. It's like really beautifully shot. It looks awesome. And this. Yeah, it does. This uh, director, a guy named Philip Montgomery who is an amazing director, kind of had this whole vision. And he actually, you know, came from a similar background as me, some, some of these topics and like, just like family issues and alcoholism and all these sort of things. And he really got the song. And, uh, you know, I asked some friends who are amazing actors. Um, this girl, Sarah Utterback, who is um, on Grey's Anatomy. And then my friend, Graham Sibley, who has been in tons of films and he's awesome. And, and we kind of made a little family. That's so cool. Yeah. It's actually really, um, it's really a big deal to me that you made a, a song about this called Moments Notice, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and that you made a music video about it, to be honest. I hadn't even seen the music video, so I didn't even know about it, but uh -huh. that, I just got to see it today, actually. And it's very, it means a lot to me because um, I've experienced similar things like that that have I've seen alcohol especially can like really destroy people's lives and yeah, really. it can destroy families yeah. and um, it definitely wreaked havoc in my life and um, created lots of misery so I one of the things that I 
like to you know represent is like I don't ever run commercials for any alcohol on oh, my show. Nice. Not Good. because I don't you know ever have a beer yeah, or whatever. Right. Yeah, I, I like a, a beer. Right? Yeah, <laughs> like, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, yeah, but it's like to I don't want to really promote like for sure that you know just because a lot of times people. They're, they've gone too far and they just don't know it, you know? And, yeah, yeah. And they're not going to listen if you try and tell them anyway. Totally, yeah. It can really be abused very easily. Yeah. And you're right, it does can really tear families apart and there's a lot of baggage that comes with all of that stuff, yeah. Yeah. Well, anyway, well, let's we'll, we'll yeah. show everybody your music <laughs> yeah. video. Let's get into it. <laughs> okay, good. Here it is. It's called Moments Notice by Joel Taylor. On a moment's notice, I was found, came to me quickly, I could hear the sound, counting down the hours, till I make my break, don't hold your breath now, it's a long On a moment's notice, I was found, came to me quickly, I could hear the sound, the sound of wind blowing, my dreams were out, and on a moment's notice, I was found. Showed my demons and made them leave Left them in a world far away from here I don't think I'm ever gonna go back home I don't think I can face it I 
was found I was found I was found Welcome back to the Red Booth Show. I'm here with musician Joel Taylor. Thank you. Thanks for being here. Yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah. Now, we just played his music video, um, which is a new music video called Moments Notice. I hope that you got to see it. If you didn't catch it on the on YouTube America, you can also follow up and see it online afterwards, after the show airs. But um, it's going to be coming out all over in Australia. It'll be everywhere. It'll be in the U.S. It'll be on online. It'll, it's... Right, <laughs> but but it's it's getting special feature. Um, for example, you said there was a morning show in Australia that's going to be showing it. I think, right? Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I played. I actually played on this morning show when I was fourteen years old. What? And uh, I've been on quite a few times. It's, it was a bizarre like call in over the phone and win a competition and sing on TV. Really? And I there's I still have a good relationship with them. They're great. So yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. So what did you do? Did you play a uh, guitar or I play piano? Piano. piano? Yep, and I played a Peter Allen song. I don't know if you know Peter Allen. The Boy From Oz. Do you remember that? Was that musical Hugh Jackman? Um, I yes. yes. I didn't, I, I remember <laughs> hearing about it. It's very it. Australian. It's an very Australian. Well, Hugh Jackman niche. is like the most musical actor ever, right? Uh, yeah, he's, I think. He's nuts. Yeah. He's pretty good. <laughs> That's so cool. Actually, there's um, someone from The Greatest Showman that I'm doing some music with so oh cool pretty cool oh, nice yeah <laughs> anyways awesome. Hugh Jackman connection yeah um so that's that's really amazing that your your show that they're putting your music video on the show yeah now awesome. that you're not 14 anymore yeah I'm not 14 anymore <laughs> they, they'll put it on and yeah it's always nice to show things at home you know and yeah. have people that you grew up with see things it's kind of awesome back in Sydney yeah back what's in Sydney. the name of the show it's called the morning show it's just the morning show yeah Cool. Easy. Well, any, any Australians out there should check yeah. it out, watch the morning show. And um, then I, I know you have some some other new songs as well that mm -hmm. you're going to be playing for us on U2 America. Yeah. So I would like to talk about those as well. Cool. Um, they're also a little bit more, more um, upbeat than that one, which yeah. was kind of a big... It's it's really important topic. Like, I don't want to brush it off at all. Like It is actually really important, and it's really cool that you're bringing attention to it with your music. Yeah, totally. And I actually think, as funny as the topic is is heavy, the song doesn't seem like that, actually. People yeah. don't, usually don't even know what it's about, because it's like uplifting, and it's like a gospel thing. It just, you know... Yeah. And when you kind of listen closely, you go, oh... But when you actually hear the lyrics. Yeah. Now, what is it? So it's a like moment's notice. Like, what does that mean? Like, like, how does that title, what they're talking about? Well, honestly, it hit me one day as soon as I moved here, really. I can't remember. It might have been straight away, but in a couple of days after I moved to America, I just realized that I, everything I was doing was the exact right thing. It just hit me. And I honestly it was like on a moment's notice. I was found is the, the lyric and it was kind of just like all of a sudden I realized oh everything's alright that's and awesome I, and I'm, I'm good that's so cool yeah that's cool so it is it's actually positive it is positive <laughs> <laughs> and then so tell us a bit about these other songs you're going to play on the show because this next segment we're going to have you play for everyone yeah. so I'm so excited it's going to be acoustic obviously it's going to be acoustic yeah which yep. is cool I'm going to play it I am yes um, he can actually play it's uh, one song is called Give Myself Away Okay. Which just came out a couple months ago. And uh, that was the one that Courtney Cox directed the music video for. And awesome. And that's, that's uh, you know, a fun, a fun kind of catchy pop song that I, I really like. And I'm going to play that. And then I'm going to play another song called What Good Is Love, which is a kind of like a finger-picky, almost like a folk song from the 70s. It's definitely like a classic singer-songwriter thing. Nice. Yeah. That's cool. So before we go to commercial, um, I wanted to hear what you do most of the time like in the music industry. Like you're in LA now, you live here, you're based here. Do you just work singer-songwriter? Like that's your main gig? Or do you have a band that you work with? Do you mm -hmm. do studio stuff? Like I guess I would like to know more about your day-to-day. -day. Yeah. Um, well, it, 
the last kind of four or five years, what I really was doing was touring with different bands as a keyboard player, wow. as a piano player. Oh, cool. And um, doing sessions as a session musician, recording on people's albums. And I was doing that for years, essentially since I moved here. Amazing. And then in the last kind of year or so, couple of years, I, you know, I've always wanted to be an artist and it's kind of been like, I've been like hungering for, to do yeah. something that is more, you know, what I really want to do with my life. Right. And, that, and that it's, that's being an artist and be a songwriter. So I kind of has slowly phased it out. So at the moment, I'm really, uh, I'm working on my own music all the time. I'm working in the studio, recording. I'm doing writing sessions with people. That's right. Now, you said you had a new EP coming out yep. in the new year yep. and a whole album as well to look forward to. Yeah, it's gonna, I'm excited. So that's, that must be what you're spending most of your time on uh, now. It is, yeah. The EP is going to come out in the, in the beginning of next year. And then about two or three months after that, the full album is going to drop. So crazy. Yeah. So I'm kind of I'm just putting the finishing touches on it, but really, mostly it's mostly it's it's there. So. It's already written and it's already recorded, yeah, 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 and you guys are doing like couple, the mixing and yeah, mastering. Gonna, and yeah, exactly. Um, there's a couple songs that are going to get finished, and then a few I need to get I need to get mixed and, and mastered. But it's mostly there. So. It's so exciting. I know, it is exciting. That takes so much work to <laughs> get to that point. It takes a long time. And I know also, cause, because you've been doing studio musician work, which is like awesome. I mean, there's a lot of people that wish they could just even do that, you know? Mm -hmm. But the fact that whenever you're playing with other people and you still have that desire to create your own music, then it's like, it's such a big, big deal to finally start actually just doing that, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I think so. I mean, the, the good thing you know, I, I feel really grateful and, and ha happy about is that I've got to play hundreds, probably maybe thousand, thousands of shows in the, you know, the last year since I've been here. That's crazy. So I definitely feel relaxed wow. on stage and I'm used to that whole thing. So now that I'm doing my own my own, you know, my own representation of myself. It's still, you know, I still get nervous when I'm in a certain place or whatever, but I definitely feel... I know, would seriously I just faint if I was up on stage <laughs> yeah. like that. Just face <laughs> I'd just be like, bye. <laughs> That's cool. I, I, you tr I try not to. <laughs> so good. far, so far, so good. That's amazing. That's so cool that you've gotten to experience that already. Yeah. You know, awesome. and, and been paid and made a living doing music already. Yeah. Um, so fantastic. Thanks. And I can't wait to hear the new album. And um, yeah, we have to take another break. But when we are coming back, we're going to get to hear Joel play for us live. So that'll be fantastic. Thanks for being here on the show. Yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah. And welcome back to the Red Booth Show. I'm here with Joel Taylor, and he's about to play for us two of his new songs. Yep. And also, I thought it'd be really cool. There was something else that we didn't get to say on the show. Um, back in Australia, your grandfather, your grandfather was actually like part of the music scene, pretty much. And he helped to discover what band? The Bee Gees. Yeah, I don't think he helped. I think he just did it. He, he did he discover. Did they used to live in the house that I grew up in. They lived there with my great grandmother, with my grandmother's, my grandfather's mom. And they all lived there, all the brothers. That's crazy. And he helped get them their record deal when they were kids. They were like 15 or something. Wow. So thanks to his grandparents, we got to experience the Bee Gees, you guys. You're welcome. That's pretty cool, thanks. right? <laughs> all right, we'll let you play your song now. Awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Something's got a hold of me, something's got an under my skin Something's got a hold of me, something won't let me win My mind's stressed out, my money's running thin I'm hardly sleeping Oh, oh in the state I'm in Free falls, close calls, I'll handle it Fake friends sink ships, but I'll make amends Until I got nothing left I'm finding out, I'm finding out how much I have to give Love quits, our hearts break, I'll untie again Tides turn, don't fight, just ride them in Until I got nothing left I'm finding out, oh I'm finding out how much I got to give Myself away Until I got nothing left I'm finding out Oh, I'm finding out how much I got to give 
myself away Until I got nothing left I'm finding out I'm finding out how much you got to give I've been holding my breath, holding on for years and years Looking under my bed, hoping monsters have disappeared As my girl sleeps still, I lie awake, tangled up in fear I'm hardly sleeping, no Oh, in the state I'm in Free falls, close calls, I'll handle it Fake friends sink ships, but I'll make amends Until I got nothing left I'm finding out, oh I'm finding out how much I got to give love quits Hearts break, I'll untie again Tides turn, don't fight, just ride them in Until I got nothing left I'm finding out, oh I'm finding out how much I got to give myself away Until I got nothing left I'm finding out Oh, I'm finding out how much I got to give myself away Ooh. Until I got nothing left I'm finding out Oh, I'm finding out how much I got to give Oh, yeah. Do I have to give myself away Something's got a hold of me, something's got an under my skin Something's got a hold of me, something won't let me win Sitting by the window where we used to sing The dust piled up on the books that we used to read The cups stained the table from the coffees that we used to drink Guess from now I'm gonna have to switch to tea Tired, oh, I'm trying to figure out why. Why can't 
can we just go back to way back when? Cause now the present and this future I'm trying to forget. I'm at home eating dinner, lost my appetite, and I'm trying to figure out why. Oh, what good is love? Oh, what good is love if you don't love me now? And why? See you